Well guys, autumn is kind of upon us. Deer. So it's rucking season. You probably hear me in the, possibly in the background amongst the birds. There's a load of um, stags, basically rucking. Hey mate. Um, so I bought out the A6700 and the 135G Master. Uh, that lights crap, so I thought, well, fast lens, um, a 202 millimeter equivalent on this sensor, and um, it allows quite a lot of things you can do. So obviously pictures of deer. That one's just milling around. Um, loads of chestnuts everywhere, which obviously they probably like. Um, and um, yeah, just wandering around snacking deer, really. We've got one right through there, don't know if I can get him. And he's ducked down. This one, I kind of wish I bought a bigger lens or the RX10. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad little day out. It hasn't rained since I got here, which is good. It rained a little bit as I was coming in and then it sort of stopped really quickly. Parakeets are so loud. The deer down there. Not too bothered by them. Head over this way. Squirrel going up a tree. Yay, the sun is out. Which is nice. Oh, he's up there. Damn it. Just missed a little shot there. Probably the squirrels, they're extremely skittish and as cute as they are. Shame they're not the red ones. Those are little young deer there, so where are the males gone? Nice, now the light's changed a little bit, which is good. Just need a bit more golden colours, would be nice. And then we'll be all good, and there's a male there, just in the ferns. But, no oh well. The other one's down there then. Oh, there he is. There he is. Crazy. I just don't know how, how close you should really not go to them because obviously you don't really want to get hit by one of those um, antlers. Strain devices.
rubbing his antlers against the tree. Funny animals, little parakeets. So guys, here are a few photos that I've taken and then we'll pop into Photoshop and show you how I process them. Uh, shot with the 135G Master on the Sony A6700. Very pleased actually with how the depth of field pulls on the APS-C sensor, the speed of focus and also the way I can freeze things even though um, I was only at a thousandth of a second or whatever, or just under one eight hundredth I think most of the time. Um, yeah, work really, really nice. The eye autofocus working a dream. The only trouble was when you have lots and lots of deer everywhere, it was deciding which deer it was going to focus on. Uh, squirrel here, um, quite heavily cropped in on the photo originally, but you can see there's plenty of detail there, plenty of croppability if you want to uh, go that way. Uh, another deer there galloping around, chasing another one. Uh, and all the other ones just sort of watching and looking at what's going on. It was very interesting, and obviously the rutting season's just all hormone based isn't it you know and they're just trying to work out and mate and uh, and stuff like that and then you've got these ones where it's just sitting in there chilling that have probably been there and done it and can't be bothered anymore they're the ones that are uh, now the single males and don't really care about the women or just want a simple life you know um which is quite funny um but here you go photoshop right guys so i've chosen four pictures here just to quickly um process and uh we're using photoshop raw um obviously if you can use Lightroom you can use any other program out there that you know um, works for you um, I've just chosen to use Photoshop because I, that's what I use da daily um, I'm in the raw processing part at the moment so we we can open multiple shots I'll just open four at the same time and we can adjust each one individually or we can select all and basically sync settings with one of the images that we decide to do and basically every adjustment will happen on all the other photos at the same time so if your photos are similar and the lighting's the same you can actually process multiple shots very quickly um, using one image uh, and then syncing everything so it's very very quick and easy to do um, obviously we've got the zoom bit here so we can zoom in on that deer and kind of see how sharp it is that 135g master lens is incredible i mean that's a huge crop in and that's shooting at f1.8 as well so it's even sharper than it looks on video so you know we know we know the shots are going to be good especially with eye, eye auto focusing in pretty much every condition possible um so photoshop's updated itself which is a little bit annoying because you could open some of these and i don't know if i can keep some open or not i need to look into this a little bit but before you could choose like that one open effects open maybe i can if i push plus nope it shuts them so that's really annoying you have got the new lens blur so if you wanted to add some blurring which i don't need to because i've got the lens that does the job for me um and i'd rather do it properly naturally than adding lens blur because you might as well just use your mobile phone hadn't you in the end of the day um with all the fakery going on but it is heading that way um just means if you didn't have the correct lens on or couldn't afford the correct lens you can now add some lens blur we don't need to because we were shooting and it's given it a really nice shallow depth of field both ends so we've got shallow depth of field down here nice sharp line there but the whole deer is in focus and where the sensor is slightly smaller than a full frame, um, we are going to get a little bit more natural depth compared to a full frame camera. So we do have some benefits in some respects. 
anyway that that shot there um adjustments wise what can we do can we drop the exposure down a little bit make it a little bit more moody up the shadows which will bring the deer and the grass back to what it was roughly highlights we can drop down to bring out the clouds slightly there um contrast and then maybe tweak the exposure again there we go next one what we can do now in raw which i never really did before was actually crop as well so we have got a cropping tool there um this shot here i actually quite like it's i mean it depends how you want to do it but obviously we have more silhouette -y on the trees in the background which i quite like but then you could have it with as much detail as you like really um, so you could have it more more um, even or you could drop it right back down again and have it more silhouetted. I prefer it more silhouetted because it then pushes the deer into the real subject um, matter and then I probably crop in a little bit. You can see all the hairs and everything flying off the, the molting hairs there. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so that shot doesn't need much doing. This one here is a bit more difficult because we've got quite a bit of bright light down here in the front on the ferns and stuff. The deer in there, which I actually reduced, it's licking its lips, um, reduced the shutter speed down to one two hundredth of a second. When I was out in the light, I was shooting up sort of one eight hundredth. So, you know, we can now boost his um, exposure, but now we want to drop the ones with the ferns at the front and maybe even drop the whole thing slightly. Depends if how moody we want it to see, really. Um, it's a difficult one. May look better in black and white. May not. We can then also um, mess around with colour mix mixing um, to change the greens more into um, autumn colours. There you go. So it looks a bit more autumny. But then I'll also crop in quite a lot as well. Bring the light up a bit. There we go. So I mean, it's it is what you want. It's it's relative to what you really want to do. You know, uh, saturation wise, we can drop some of the saturation down as well. We can mess around. There's so much you can do. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for a minute. Same deal from a different angle. I'm going to click auto and see what it does. So it lights him up quite nicely actually and keeps it relatively well balanced. Um, highlights, it depends if you want to make it look like that or bring it right down. Shadowing is brought up a little bit, contrast and exposure. Um, detail wise, sharpening I always have at 40. Some people like it at 60. It doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. Um, especially on something like the 135G Master because it's so sharp out of the box anyway it's, it's ridiculous. Um, you have got the denoise button now as well which means if you have got a grainy picture which we don't really have a trouble with um, we, we can actually um, denoise the image quite nicely now. So what we do is we re-highlight all of those and then we're going to go click open and then we can basically mess around with the shots so you can in the raw um, thing you can just save them as JPEGs if you want to if you don't do anything else to them but I just thought I'd open these here you've got that tree running down there which is quite nice he's sat behind do we lose that other tree and just bring it in so it's a bit more like that to make a bit more of a a leading line do we get the dodge tool And just bring his whites up a bit and there so he, he stands out a bit more than the rest of it maybe even on his antlers slightly as well there we go i mean that's one shot this shot here i don't really know auto color i actually quite like the colors on that because once you've got out of the editing side of it but we definitely need to bring 
a bit more croppability and obviously if I had a bigger lens I would have used it but I decided at the time I wasn't going to but still not a bad image uh, do we dodge on it a little bit just to bring out the deer a bit more from the way from the background just to bring out some of those bits probably there you go it's not too bad like anything this is how you decide it's gonna it's gonna look um, this one here the running deer that thinks it's a horse personally for me I cropped it down something like that actually a little bit of the chestnuts in the background and a bit more there so we had not quite a third junction but there we go so something like that I reckon no hang on, that's not right that's something like there because we it's heading that way it's heading to the left so we want an open space over here because it's running in that direction so I have a little bit less here I think that works quite nicely we can see some of the chestnuts in the trees we can do that we can obviously add a bit of highlight with a dodge tool in the background just to bring out the colors a little bit if we want to and up there as well just to bring out a couple of bits other than that you know I think it's fine maybe a little touch up on the deer there just to bring it out a little bit further that's that shot this one here is a bit of a random one because you've got a dead tree you've got a deer stood there not really doing a lot so do we just crop in somewhere like that because it kind of works and I've just kept it a three by two um, do we go thirds like that because it's looking in this direction do we just have it on the muddy edge so it's kind of like that do we bring it down a third into its thing but do we have those that is the two you know it's, it's a difficult one over there looks wrong he's looking this direction so we kind of either want him there or we want him dead in the center something like that But as you can see, we're, we're utilising quite a lot of um, megapixels here. It doesn't really matter if we're only going to use it in this video. Um, but you can still print this quite a good size um, if you wanted to. It's not really going to kill that much. Um, but just show you how usable this um, A6700 is. It works very, very well. Um, anyway, guys, so those are the four images that I just quickly adjusted. Um, you've just got to make your own decisions on the colours. Um, mess around with things like that you know um, I try and do as little as possible possible to them as I can generally because um, I like to keep it as realistic as possible so I would very rarely um, mess around with the colors too much unless I really had to and I really wanted to make it a bit more autumn looking um, just because it was, wasn't quite there yet that's what I quite like and a couple of little tweaks here or there um, that one thinks it's a horse I quite like that as a, a darker background that's how I took it so you know I don't think there's anything wrong with cropping especially if you have the wrong lens on you need a little bit extra um, a little, you know zoom in a little bit if you can um, on the video I was using um, clear image zoom which worked really nicely as well for video 1.5 times so it gave me 300 millimeters to play with in in equivalence um, so yeah anyway um, don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well and I'll see you soon for another video